Hi, I had a question on how to do the stencil edge cards in Sure Cuts a lot, so let me show you how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is make a card shape or import a card shape or open up a card document that I already had. So I just need a rectangle that is the shape of my opened card. So for an A2 card, it's going to be 8.5 by 5.5. And, and then I just put a score line and, and use the align tool to center it. So that I can use for reference. And then I need a stencil shape. I've been using for that, I've been using a font called HFF Floral Stencil. So I'm going to open up the library. I would click the fonts tab and navigate down here to HFF Floral Stencil. And I've got the glyph all the way over here to the large setting so that you can see these. And you can scroll through there and see there's all kinds of really cool looking stencils. This is the one I've been using for my demos. I've got a sticky mouse here. Let's see. It's this one right here. It's the actually the lowercase g but we don't need to worry about that because we have a nice glyphs pad in Sure Lot where we can do that visually. So once I've got that on my mat, I can close that. And then I'm just going to bring it in here. I'm going to hold down the Shift key so that that stays proportional just to get it bigger where I can see it. And then I'm going to make a copy of that on top of itself. So I'm going to go to Edit Copy and then I'm going to go to Edit paste in place. So now I have two of these stacked on each other. You'll see why that's important in a second. I'm going to go to Path, Offset Path. Then I'm going to choose my style. I'm going to go with Rounded. And I'm going to keep this tenth of an inch. And click OK. And then I've got to size this to match my card. So I'm going to select both. Again, I'm going to hold down the Shift key. I'm going to pull this down until it touches the bottom and then I'm going to move it back up. I should have done that first and then bring this down till it touches the bottom again and then scoot this over. So I want three points of contact here. I want the I want it to stay proportional but I want it to touch at the bottom, the top and at the right hand side. Okay, so once I get that, um, now I'm going to copy it again so that it'll be in the clipboard waiting for me. Because right now I'm going to destroy it with the eraser. Now what I have to do is I have to get rid of this part of the card that's on the outside of the flower. But it doesn't have to be exact because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weld this together in a second. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the eraser and I'm going to just roughly go through here. I want to come start where the flower touches and come out where the flower touches. Just like that. Okay, so then I can delete the flower, the stencil, and the offset, and then I have to click that and break it apart so that I can delete this part. So now, watch what happens when I paste this back in place. Okay, now you can see that all this was missing and that's just right like I wanted. So now I'm going to select just the offset and the rectangle and I'm going to click Object, excuse me, Path, Union to weld those two things together. Okay, so now I'm going to take the just the stencil and I'm going to select the background and I'm going to go to Path back minus front. And those were in the wrong order, which happens a lot. So if back minus front doesn't work, then you go front minus back. And you see that that does work. Okay, so there's my card. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.